today we're off to the Medical University of South Carolina. I recently had a uh, chance of uh, visiting the um, postgraduate endodontic program, uh, the endo residency program at the Medical University of South Carolina, MUSC. And I actually uh, had spent a whole day doing a lecture and hands-on presentation in which I ended up covering a number of different topics in the general endodontic concepts as well as showcasing some of the techniques and uh, materials that my team and I have developed over the um, past 20 some odd years. I truly enjoyed my time with this group of residents in this excellent program and it's always really reassuring to uh, see the future of our field in endodontics in such capable hands with the young and smart and empathetic future and colleagues that I run into everywhere around the country. Now, during the uh, hands-on session, I demonstrated the use of piezoelectric ultrasonics and highlighted their effectiveness in enhancing the chemical reactions within the root canal through cavitation, agitation, as well as acoustic streaming. And this process often can be visualized through the bubble formation and the action of these bubbles inside the fluid, showing the fluid dynamics and the flow at a much higher magnification under the scope. That kind of makes it obvious about the benefits of this type of what I call powered flushing or powered uh, use of uh, chemicals. Now, this uh, could be done with the more expensive use of NDAC lasers that activate the water or gentle wave system that uses a, um, you know, activation through sound energy and some negative pressure at the same time using degas solutions. Uh, but uh, it's also achievable at a more affordable price uh, with the use of piezoelectric ultrasonics really at a fraction of the price. Now, there's no question that the cavitation pulse you would get from lasers and so on is a little bit more powerful than what you could get with piezoelectric ultrasonic, but my argument has always been what is enough because ultimately the goal here is to uh, get good successful outcomes. And the question here is that can we achieve that with something more affordable and readily more available? And that's really the question. Well, Dr. Nassay talked to us about a lot of evidence-based uh, endodontics protocol, the way to do things the right way. We loved having him. I think I'm going to be giving my local anesthetic injections slightly different now after today. <laughs> I wish we could keep him here forever. <laughs> so I want to thank the uh, folks, the residents and the post our program as well as the program director at the MUSC for inviting me and uh, having me spend the day with them and for the rest of you guys I hope to see you at your program one of these days uh, and if not at one of the conferences around the world. I hope to see you guys soon. I'll see you guys at the AAE.